Charity versus Room 2. New Age of Zeros. Welcome back to Charity vs. Room 2. Uh, I'm Stefan, and I am going to be doing basically the filler event of this event, where I'm going to be playing games with wrong accessories, or more specifically, really just one one wrong accessory. Uh, I've got a bunch of people in here uh, in the Dipscord. Uh, are you guys there in the Dipscord? No. I exist. Where am I? <laughs> Whoa, that was me. I'm sorry. It just came out of one of my orifices. I don't. Which one? Secret one. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let me pull this up right now because uh, you're gonna you're gonna see it's a mess. So I got the I got this wheel thing right here. I've had it since, uh, like, early 2000s. Uh, it's been something that I've always, like, thought was weird but fun that I have. And I've always had this thing I wanted to do of just, what if I just played random games with this thing and s see how far it can get? So that that's what basically we're going to do. So, like, first, oh, hey, look, I got Sonic Adventure in here. Let's try that. Is this even gonna work? Uh, I since considering I practiced a lot of them, you're gonna see. <laughs> I like I practice most of them. <laughs> right. Most. Of... By practice, you mean I held the steering wheel. I made sure I could turn it left and right. Research done. See, this is that Sonic Outrun game I was suggesting a few streams ago. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Let's see. Wait, how many outruns are there? There's outrun one, outrun two, and then a different outrun. Uh, 2006, coast 2006. to coast, and there's outrun yes. 2099. 2099? Wait, when did 20, that one come out? There's, a, there's another outrun on Genesis. Oh, yeah, that, that vaguely sounds familiar. Uh, what's the name of it? Shit. It's 20-something, 20 2077. Uh, that sounds more futuristic and cool. Uh, Wait, is it Cyberpunk 20 <laughs> Hey. No, it's uh, there was Turbo Outrun, Outrunners, Outrunners. Uh, okay. There's Outrun Europa. There's where is the other one? They don't even reference uh, it on the Wikipedia page. What are you doing? Oh, that's why you got to go to Sega Retro dot org. Oh, true, true. Oh, I gone there. Ah, uh, what have you done? <laughs> do I'm... you have pedals, Stefan? Yes, I do. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry. Outrun 2019. Oh. So now oh. it's old, but it was futuristic back then. <laughs> and he's dead. Like, you already died. Look. Yeah, see, I think it's so, so the problem is is that you can't go forward. Uh-huh. Huh? Wait, what do you mean you can't go <laughs> are you forward? Gonna, are you gonna because the way the wheel works is that you can go right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can go left. Uh huh. You can jump with the pedal and all the buttons, but the the deep the the D-pad on here is just a D-pad. It, it's not an analog stick, so the analog stick only works for left and right. So you can't go forward. You know what? I think your issue is that you're using the wrong controller, uh, the wrong accessory, I believe. Stefan, I think the issue is that you're not aiming the camera at your feet. Yeah, yeah, can, you're right. If you rotate the camera... Yeah, go into first you... person. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you go into first person, it might let you go straight. Hey, yeah. Double says the steering wheel sounds like it'll break soon enough. That's how this stream <laughs> should end. It's me destroying, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I want to show off wait. that, yeah, I can't I can't go any further than Wait, wait, this. wait, can you, right, can you time it? Like, okay, if you're spin dashing and you let go, like, halfway between left and right, shouldn't you go forward? Ooh, no. with uh, Taylor with the ideas. No, uh, you, because it's like the way it, we, it immediately turns you left or right. It's um, oh. But what if you let go like at the exact right moment? Right, you got to do it frame, perfect frame. <laughs> you just got drone struck. <laughs> what? Oh my God. That, you're managing um, to go backwards. Yeah. yeah you are. Yeah, wow. just do the opposite of what you're doing. 
Wait, I forget. Can you can jump? Are you homing attack the uh, those the jump the, the item boxes. The circle button. <laughs> Wait. All right. Can you? Wait, if you restart it, you're yeah. Restart you, and then you don't face go left forward. Or right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Restart no, I, it. I tried doing that, but then, uh, but I wanted to because since knuckles, you can actually jump and glide. So this this one has this one has some more. Uh, this one's the, he's easier to deal with. I just want to show oh. off Sonic to be all like, yeah, you can't basically go. Uh, uh, well, as you're preparing to play as Knuckles, we have a $5 donation from Kermit the Frog, who says, Play as Amy, you coward. You better believe I'm hoping for her in Origins. How about chat starts a donation train? Uh, I agree. In the meantime, uh, what unexpected game works best with the wheel, Stefan? Uh, I would say uh, 2D games, which I'll probably show off in a bit. Uh, 2D games work because you only have to go left and right. But, yeah... Huh. And also, as yeah. I'll show, and I'll, as I'll show off, if a game lets you use the D-pad, then I, then it can work because then I can actually go forward. So, like, say, I've got Ratchet and Clank with me, so we're gonna we're gonna try doing some of that uh, in a bit. Uh, Goldstorm has a good question. How does Monkey Ball work with this? <laughs> mm, I do not have Monkey Ball on PS. Oh. This, this is for PS. The the wheel I have works for PS2, GameCube, and Xbox, and I sadly don't have any of those. Uh, Damn. You, I think you should get some rings. Come on. That is my professional opinion. Let's see how far I can. Can I get through this? Yo, you almost got that deerling. Whoa, that deer's he, having like a that, bit of a is that seizure. spring form? Yeah. <laughs> Where's all the cars? There it is. Oh, there's one. I love the wall jump. Yes, the the car. Oh, Knuckles got murdered. He landed on the roof and wait. No. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's think. How many? Okay. So this is the Nintendo GameCube. There are a lot of games in the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, for instance, uh, Zapper One Wicked Cricket. How well does Zapper work? <laughs> That tells me everything I need to know. <laughs> uh, as a reminder for anyone who's tuning in for the first time today or for the event, uh, welcome, if you are, say hello in the chat so we can say hi to you. Uh, we are raising money for Rise Above the Disorder. It's a, it's a 501c3 charity that goes and uh, connects people uh, across the world with local uh, mental health professionals that are either uh, on their insurance network or works uh, through your... Uh, insurance issues so you don't have insurance or, or anything like that if you're in the u.s um and if you can't afford the cost of therapy or mental health support of any any sort uh they will use the the donation income that they pull in to subsidize the cost entirely for you um so 30 dollars uh, on average is the cost that they uh pay out per per user to cover a full therapy session uh ten dollars is a, a, a medication refill uh and so on and so forth. And it's a, it's a really wonderful cause. Uh, they're aiming to uh, eventually lead to a universal mental health care, as I believe what they what they phrased it as. Um, so consider donating by typing exclamation point donate in the chat, uh, and you can find you can find more info there, uh, both on the Tiltify and on their own site as well. Uh, if you donate through Tiltify, you can enter to win the Daily Raffle or the Event Raffle. The Event Raffle is a Nintendo Switch OLED Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Edition uh, that does not exist anywhere else on Earth. Don't look it up. It's right there. And for 20 bucks, you could possibly have it. Uh, today's Daily Raffle, which ends at the end of tonight's streams, is two pairs of boxing gloves so you can fight your friend. You can just punch your friend in real life. Uh, just like that Trav guy and Salty DK Dan are going to do shortly after this um, for Punch Out. Punch Out We Race, I believe, is the game. That's correct. <laughs> uh, there are also a bunch of uh, donation uh, incentives and rewards and uh, bid wars that you can look into if you go to the donation page. Uh, so for $10, you can have us read out anything you want, any dumb quote in any character voice. So if you want to hear uh, John's depressed Luigi or Bentley or you want to hear... Chris's Bev Big Head or Trav's Plankton or my Watto or anything like that, you can uh, select that as an option. Uh, you can choose a fighter for the WWE 2K uh, Royal Rumble match. You can pick a fighter that Kara will make. Uh, there's a limit to 30 entries for that Rumble match. 
Um, but I put Slenderman in, so you should put someone other than Slenderman in. And uh, as for our bid wars, we have a bunch of bid wars for Jackbox games that end later tonight when we close the night off with Jackbox. Uh, so you can pick your favorite Jackbox game, and we're going to play it. Uh, tomorrow, you can... Uh, I'm sorry, tomorrow is the end for the Mario Party stage select bid war, um, where it is Trav, Chris, Me. Sabrina, and Elliot? Yes. Who's uh, the okay, I, I couldn't remember who the fourth was, because we said smoothies last time, but it's Elliot, I think. Uh, yeah, it's Elliot. They're, they're playing Mario Party 1 or 2 via the Nintendo Switch Online, and the loser wins. So you can pick the stage uh, that they're going to have to suffer through. So currently, Pirate Land has $45. Western Land is uh, just $8 ahead. Uh, Peach's birthday cake is actually only at $47, so it's actually the last of the donated ones right now. Uh, and Wario's Battle Canyon is at $170, so that's currently Ooh. leading. But one good donation could change that. Uh, yeah, there's also Space Lane Mystery Land. There's a bunch of donations that you can yeah, see. Yeah, Amy is page. stuck there. It can't get any further than that. Oh, right. Amy, oh. you can't move. There's no way to manipulate Amy to go forward. Uh, at the end of today, we close the Spyro 2 version bid war. Uh, so currently, Reignited has a $400 lead, but uh, that could easily change with one with one big donation, as we've seen in the past. So if you want to see them play the PS1 version of Spyro, uh, you should make sure to donate for that before the end of tonight. Uh, we have a stage select for Smash Ultimate, where we'll play through uh, th any of the worst stages that you want to see us play through, and us being uh, mainly Justin and Linky uh, in their head-to-head -head series. Uh, that's going to be next week. Uh, Great Cave Offensive is currently in the lead with $161. We have a Hitman Mission Select where Miami is currently in the lead. Uh, so if you want to see uh, Experiment and Linky play on any of the other Hitman 1 levels, so Berlin or Colorado or Sapienza, uh, you should pick those for their uh, for their kill challenge. Okay. And Do you guys want to see a game that does work? No. There's a game that works. I mean, works. Sonic but... the Fighters? Yo. I mean, I'm going to do that next, but this well, one. Well, Sonic 2. Uh oh. oh. I can do that right. next. I, I can do I can do these games. The, all these games work fine. I can actually get these running. And uh, the final bid war, just to close out uh, this little this little pitch here, is uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 1 versus 2. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2, at some point during the last race or two, got a $400 lead. Uh, but it's still anybody's game because that will uh, that one will close at the end of Sunday, this coming Sunday on the 30th. Uh, we also have Ooh. two incentive days. If we hit $10,000, we unlock incentive day number one, which uh, starts with a Sonic Origins race between David the Lurker and David. Uh -huh. Hello. Uh, and some call him Jonathan, where a bunch of us will be reading bad Sonic fan fiction to harass them. Uh, and you can help select the character that they play as they go through the entire story mode of Sonic Origins. Um, followed by Jeopardy, hosted by Stefan, yeah. uh, featuring Trav, Elliot, and who was the third? I'm forgetting. Me! Me. David, David. David! David's doing an all-nighter that day. Oh, um, God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that uh, that day, I believe, ends with uh, Sonic Unleashed versus Unleashed, uh, Steven versus Stefan. That's correct. Uh, and then if we had $20,000, there's another incentive day featuring a Metroid Prime 1 race between uh, Experiment and John as well as uh, Sonic Frontiers race between Linky, Chris, and Smoobies. And a third game that I'm also drawing a blank on. I, I, well, well, Frontiers, <laughs> Frontiers Crash, is the last game. Crash 4. Yeah, yeah I'm not saying Crash, Crash 4. I'm not saying these in exact order. But those are those oh, are the gotcha. days you unlock for $20,000, is, is Crash 4, Sonic Frontiers, and Metroid Prime Remastered race. So if you want to see yeah. that, we have to hit our $20,000 goal. Come on, Sonic. You can do it. Uh, and I'm, and this game I did want to clear. Really well. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I did want to clear because uh, there was some confusion with the Mario Party uh, stage bid war. It's not the least donated that wins. It's the person who loses wins. Uh, oh yes. Thing. Sorry. Sorry. The the Mario Party game itself. Whoever loses that game is the winner. So they're gonna all try and throw. Uh, the bid war is for whatever stage they do play. Oh. Oh, hey, it looks like uh, an another donation slipped through under the door. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, it's side table. Wait, it says dot, dot, dot. Does that mean their name was cut off? Or is my window too small? No, uh, it's side, side table, table drawer. Draw 
drawer. Okay. So I mean, it could be side table draw. Why not? Uh, okay. Yeah. They know. Blah, blah, blah. Let me start over. Side table drawer donated five dollars, and they said Blue helped me set up this donation. I've been typing since solitaire, and now I'm really sleepy. Before I doze off, favorite show from your own childhood. If I have any fans in chat, thank you. I've been feeling overlooked lately. Oh, heck. Thank you so much, Side Table Drawer. <laughs> I love Blue's Clues. <laughs> Blue's Clues? Yeah, it's so. Yeah. Because it, it's a after it does say Blue's Clues, yeah. yeah. Oh. It's, it says Side Table Drawer parentheses Blue's Clues. Oh. oh, right. Wait, how did you see the full name? Um, I'm just looking on the stream. <laughs> Oh! Oh, yeah, you're right. It is uh, full on the stream. Wow, For that's some a good. Tiltify is weird about it sometimes, where it won't. Yeah. Show it if you hover over it on Tiltify, you'll be able to see like the full name. Really? Uh, see, it? these are things that yeah. uh, I don't. I I don't know how the internet works. No, I'll see. Yeah. I was just as bad as you on that one because I hovered over it thinking it would work, but I didn't hover over it for the extra second that it takes versus other websites. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. It just it just hit me with a mix up. I didn't expect. Right. Oh yeah, side table short. That is a right. I didn't watch Blue's Clues as a kid because it didn't exist, but I did watch Blue's Clues when I was older because uh. I had younger brothers, and they watched it, and I enjoyed it, and I bought uh, a handy dandy notebook because I thought it was cool. But you know what? Uh, right, I didn't buy just one, I bought two. I bought a regular one, and then they had like a special golden one, and I went, I guess I need this one too. I think that one's the Death Notebook, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe that's why, right, because I think I wrote the name Steve, and then he disappeared from the show. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, you're the reason. <laughs> it was you. Come on, Amy, you could do it. Oh, heck. Right, Amy. Right. So this game, I guess, because it's a racer, man. Oh, is this car oh. alive, David? Uh, this car is not alive. Uh, oh. Either it was built without a soul, or uh, it its soul was removed. Uh, I would hope it's the first, because otherwise it's dark, and and Amy's just driving around a car corpse. A dead car. A dead car. A dead car. <laughs> Uh, that was a reference to um, Sonic Drift. Amy drives a car that is sentient. Right. The uh, the breeze is, is it called the breezy? I think so. I forget the names of, of all those cars. There's, there's some fancy ones, but yeah, the breezy. It's a cartoon car with eyes. It's alive. Ah. It um, kind of uh, looks like a blue version of the taxi from Roger Rabbit. Yeah. I mean, maybe that is what it's uh, meant to be. Oh. Wait, who is? What is everyone's favorite show from childhood? Quickly. Right. Probably. I mean, I, I probably probably like Blue's Clues. Uh, Arthur, I watched all the time as a kid. Arthur. Yeah, Blue's Clues, Max and Ruby. Uh, oh God, Max and Ruby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, most of the Nick Jr. lineup I watched. Yeah. SpongeBob, when it was good. <laughs> no. Although I feel like when I think of series from childhood, I'm thinking of like yeah, like young, like like baby yeah. series, yeah, like Blue's Clues and Arthur. Like yeah, SpongeBob is something where it's like oh yeah, like I watch back then, I watch now. Uh, uh, we have two donations that just popped up. We have ten dollars from Penn's fan, uh, who says watching CFL on one screen, everybody supersonic racing. Thank you so much. And we have uh, five dollars from Stefan's creaky steering wheel with no comment. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you have fine time to donate, but not to move forward in any game. Well, right. It, well, it, it's creaky. It's old. It 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 doesn't want to talk anymore. It talked enough in the '90s or the 2000s. Yeah. Right. The GameCube came out after the '90s. I assume I, everything was released in the '90s. I just want to throw out that it said congratulations very condescendingly for you coming in third. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, heck. Right, so this version of Sonic R that's on Gems Collection is based on the PC version. That's some information there. That's some information to tell you why aren't you playing this on a Sega Saturn? Yeah, Stefan. Does this does this work on a Saturn? Uh, you could have gotten a, a Saturn wheel could've, could've and a one, Saturn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was was there a Sega Saturn wheel? I believe so. Okay. Um, much like uh, many accessories for Sega consoles, uh, nobody realized they existed, but they did. 
Also, I, I had something, uh, there was something that we had promised a while ago uh, from yesterday that now I think we should uh, have. Live sure, like ham <laughs> mac and cheese! Let's go! Yes! Uh, like, you did mute the audio, right? Yeah, the, audio, the audio's <laughs> muted. Okay, oh, feeling like I didn't say anything, so I hope there's just no audio there. But, this uh, is this is fulfilling all your TikTok goals, all your all your fucking ADHD that we all have. <laughs> all right, oh man, you got two pots, you got two pots going. Yeah, okay. <laughs> one's for the mac, one's for the cheese, David. <laughs> Catch. We should have, Sabrina. We should have asked you to make the shittiest mac and cheese possible. Like just no. completely butcher it. That nah, man, weird. I'm trying to eat. <laughs> That's fair. That's so fair. we should have asked you to get like an old box of, uh, you know, like from some promotion from years ago. You know, maybe, maybe it's edible, maybe it's not. What, like, uh, I'm trying to think, like the, like the craft, like, old, like, cartoon character mac and cheese, like... Yeah. The Nickelodeon uh, slime mac and cheese, let's go. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> All right, like, there was, um, I feel like, right, the, the dinosaur one was, was, uh, do they still make the dinosaur one? God. Like, the dinosaur it, one I remember Stop being... It. No. Being the one everyone wanted. What? Like, I remember growing up, it was like the Kraft SpongeBob mac and cheese. I would be like, I want that one. It tastes better. It's like it's the same thing, <laughs> just different shape. Come on, come on. I see some Cheezosaurus Rex go. in chat. Some some Cheezosaurus Rex love. <gasps> Can you swap the cooking and game video? <laughs> <laughs> Stefan's just trying to cook with a steering wheel. I'm doing multitasking. We can do this. Go. Yeah, it, it, pr press it, pressing the pedal is what shoots his bullets. <laughs> and I gotta use the but I gotta use the other buttons on the wheel in order to do the other attacks. This is some parappa shit. Just hit the gas. <laughs> For some reason, these guys know whenever I'm going to shoot. Come on. Stop it. Amy. Eclipsus is asking uh, what it is you're stirring in there at this point in the, in the video screen. A flour is what they Yeah, have. Yeah, it's um, it's two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. Um, and I'm like, I'm going back and forth like with one hand because I have my phone. <laughs> Challenge so, mode. It really right, was okay. a challenge mode. Uh, so, so I have to like combine like the flour and the butter until like it's like golden brown, and then like when it gets to that point, I'm gonna be pouring in milk and then like the seasons I had, which was like a teaspoon of paprika, garlic, and half a teaspoon of cayenne, and then some salt and pepper that I don't really measure out. I just kind of go until my 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 body just like okay yeah no it's good. That's the right. <laughs> Carol's right. I can still taste it in my mouth. Because <laughs> Carol had it. Carol had some afterwards. So. These guys are freaking spamming their shields. So I gotta keep throwing them over. Yeah, but they'll run out. Fuck you. Shields are different in this game. Like. They're per match. Yeah. No, per round? What's the difference? What? Uh, I think per round, because they have a reset Stop right it. now. Uh, they do? Because it looks like, it looks like, For I can't you, see, they're, they're, both, they're all, yeah, they're all filled, yeah, yeah. Oh. So you have five per round. Gotcha. Okay. Fuck you. What am I thinking of? Uh, you might like... be thinking of uh, fighting vipers. I feel like you just don't get renewed in that. That's you know what I was that might be of. it. Yeah. No. Yes. And I, this that, is that sounds right. This is based on fighting uh, yeah. vipers. Which, <laughs> it is. You know, yeah. That's right, because that's where they shoved Sonic and Tails in there as a joke, and then they said, "What, well, what if? What if we did what it for if? real?" And Naka said, "I'll give you my uh, my blessing because." Your studio is run by you, Suzuki, and he is you one, and I am you two. So I must be, I, I, I must listen to him. Which, which is why when you Suzuki told uh, Yuji Naka, "Hey, you should do some insider trading when you leave Sega," he said, "Of course." <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, 
It's accurate. I read it somewhere. What happens if you put your phone in the mac and cheese? <laughs> Um, don't th I, I think it will, it will be a bit shocking um, at, at first. Um, <laughs> might, might affect the cheese a little bit. Five ways to cook mac and cheese that don't work. Number three will shock you. <laughs> uh, steering wheel. <laughs> steering wheel. <laughs> like, you just have a whole, like, Rube Goldberg machine. Uh, oh, shout out to um, Rapunzel's Tower for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Yes, thank you. Oh, wow. Whoa. Uh, 27, uh, nice. D David, what are we doing here? Well, what are we doing here? Why, we're playing some games, but we're not just playing some games. We're playing some games for charity because this is the charity room. That's right. We are raising money for Rise Above the Disorder, which uh, I don't have the same spiel planned in my head like you did earlier. Um, I really should have had... Uh, notes to cheat um <laughs> honestly digimanda said it best in chat and we should have just copied that because the, the way that she put it was really really good yeah oh um, right um but, uh, the, the short version of it is that they 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 will take the donation money and use it to help provide uh mental health uh uh support uh not directly on their own behalf although they do have licensed professionals involved uh instead they'll help you uh find local uh, therapist or mental health professionals near to you and uh, you can uh, if you can't afford the cost yourself they will help uh, or just completely cover the cost for you uh, using the donation money that they uh, that they bring in from events like this or events like uh, the official RuneScape charity streams raise money for Rise Above the Disorder as well um, right. they're very tuned into a lot of like the, 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 the computer RPG community uh, not that this is one but Rust for example is another game that I know works with them um, but they're a really, really cool cause that uh, we, we discovered this year while looking for uh, a cause to support. And uh, you should uh, you should check them out. Um, every ten dollars, uh, according to their page, that uh, that they receive is essentially the cost of one uh, prescription refill for somebody uh, who can't afford it. And every thirty dollars is the cost of one session that they would then cover on average. Um, so yeah, uh, right. Yeah. I wrote those down so I could remember. Uh, here we go. Right, because also on their official website, ooh, it's called yourrad.org. That's a good URL. I like that. Yeah, it, no, I, I like that. Right. I guess this is the, the shortest version. The best way to summarize RAD is simply, we are a universal mental health care system. We help people regardless of health insurance or budget because everyone deserves mental health care. That is, that I. that's a good, uh, I completely right? lost the word. Yeah, but that's a good thing. Yeah. That is a... Yeah. I mean, that's something to applaud, uh, especially in these crazy times. I think we all on, could yeah. use a little bit of... I can find three uh, rings. I can do this. I can I know, find um, three rings. I can do the... I can do the uh, special oh, yeah, stage. Yeah. I want to try to do the special stage. I just need three rings. I know one of the uh, one of the things that uh, uh, like Rad started as another uh, cause previously before it became like a proper 501c3. It was like a grassroots cause uh, that went by uh, the, the wonderful name uh, of Anxiety Gaming. And I guess they worked as a <laughs> World of Warcraft guild at first, because a lot of the people involved uh, with the early form of Rad were WoW players. And so they would uh, try and fundraise for mental health support. And in return, like let's say you were playing World of Warcraft and you, you were looking for a max spec armor piece or whatever, they would help you with that or with a raid or whatever. Uh, and in exchange, they would ask you to donate to like a local cause or uh, something of that sort. <laughs> fucking yeah. steering wheel. It's now bleeding through Discord. It wasn't before, but now it's screaming in pain. That was also why I thought this would be funny to do, just because it's like, yeah, this is the most broken ass shit. But it's like, let's see how much I can get through. Like, let, let's see if I can beat this. Will you also be whipping out your joystick today? Uh, I was going to, but I wasn't able to get any of the, uh, for some reason I wasn't able to get any of the emulators to work. Uh, while, while <laughs> I'm sorry, Sonic shit. Sonic <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a good um, animation. I've never <laughs> yeah. seen that before. That's how Sonic looks. That's it's because you're so good at gaming, Kevin. Right, you've never seen Sonic fall. You've never seen Sonic lose. Because he's way past cool. Wow. That's what he says. It's true. Sonic is way past cool. Um, he's, he went past cool and he went to absolute zero. He died. Uh, we should drop Sonic in the ocean. Moving. <laughs> 
I know Sonic can't <laughs> swim, but it might help. Oh, you didn't get the the secret bonus one where you get 20 more seconds. Yeah, where you get more time. I wasn't able to reach him. Wow, that's a. Uh... Whoa, did you know that this version of Sonic the Hedgehog CD in Sonic Gems Collection was based on the 1996 <laughs> PC port, <laughs> but is actually worse? That's true. Um, I didn't know that. Oh, now you do. Um, I feel like a lot of these are based off of what? PC ports, though, because, you know, the easiest thing to port. Uh, that is true. Um, well, I, yeah, what's... Sonic the Fighters is the only native port because oh. there were. this was the first time it was released on home consoles. Although I guess the uh, the um, like the Xbox Live slash PS3 whatever store it's probably based on this though. Um, I mean, yeah. like I think it, but the but the but the 2012 version or whatever it, it does have a couple extra things in it like yeah yeah playable Eggman and uh, d d and honey, honey and yeah Honey the Cat which was a big thing but Ugh. yeah the other two are broken PC ports and. Uh, Game Gear games. <laughs> but if you want Game Gear games, you can buy the new version of Sonic Origins. Probably uh, the same ports, honestly, of, of these Game Gear games. It's a lot. It's so many. The, the does, reason... does that version of? Go ahead, go ahead. No, no. The reason, the reason to get a PS5 playing Sonic Blast. Let's go. <laughs> does the uh, the new Origins version of uh, the Game Gear games? Are they all just the Game Gear versions, or do they also have the Master System versions of Sonic Game Gear One <laughs> and Two? You're no. funny. I figured. I figured. Um, yeah, Sega doesn't like to acknowledge uh, the Master System uh, or anything, really. They, um, they remade Alice Kid once. They they <laughs> they did. <laughs> Someone they, else made that. Yeah, yeah. They right. just took the money for it. <laughs> they just took the money. Yeah. No. Um. Right. I mean, I guess there were some Master System. Uh, versions released on the uh, Wii Virtual Console. Cal console? Yes. I was going to say Console. Right? Uh, yes, I, there were. Like, like, like yes, Sonic, one, there two, were some. 1, 2, and Chaos were on... Uh, were right. On. That I believe that's the only time Sega has bothered to re-release the Master System version of the 8-bit games. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, it does, but also, like... Or rather, why, why? yeah, not doesn't make sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense, right. Oh man, here's some more fun trivia. Sonic 1 on the Game Gear was the original version, and then they decided to make a Master System port. Sonic trivia. I think Good we times. all knew that. Also, uh, Sabrina, the... I liked your shaking. I liked how you shook it around <laughs> like that. <laughs> Did we all? Oh man, there you go. Right, that's not that's not blue box. That's a that's a real that's a what color was the box that came out of? Um. Well, no. Like, like I said, I, I just home. I, it was homemade, so I just got like re regular pasta shells. Oh she well, made... yeah. Like, what was what was uh, the packaging of the shells? Um, what? it was like gorilla. Like, like it was like it, it was like this grocery store brand. So I'm like trying to think. It's like some oh, kind okay. of like shade, of, light shade of green or something like that. What's your store? <laughs> Dox yourself. What's your store? <laughs> Write yeah. that down, write you that shop, down. You shop at Farmer Jack. Yeah, <laughs> Farmer Jack. It still exists. It doesn't yeah. exist. So someone in the chat was like, the hell is that orange cheese? And then they found nothing. Americans dye their cheese. So. <laughs> but uh, they had the three... <laughs> Uh, Santiago 7 is correct. It was an indie store called Walmart. Just admit it. <laughs> no, it was not Walmart. <laughs> Like it was a uh, two cups of cheddar, one cup of Kobe Jack, and one cup of mozzarella. That's the cheeses that I used. Oh, that's fancy. I like yeah, it. I did. I did a taste test at the end, so you'll see my face. <laughs> Yo, Sabrina face reveal. <laughs> Sabrina face reveal. <laughs> as if it doesn't exist. <laughs> so I'm doing a little cheating. Uh... Because I wanted to, I wanted to do smash, but you can't do smash because you need to move up on the control stick, which just doesn't work. So I had to pull out a controller to do this, and then now, now I can go. Right. Oh, are you cheating? Well, now I'm not cheating. 
He had to cheat to get into the game. He had to cheat, but now you're not cheating. Now you yeah. are. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I guess that's permissible. Um. Pika P. If you win this, I'll be very disappointed in everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention uh, at the difficulty of the. Uh... They're the easiest difficulty. They're all also, easy. Also, I just died, so. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even realize. I didn't see the timer. I thought this was uh, one stock, no. so I thought the game just ended when he said you died. <laughs> uh, Eclipse really, I... asks, do you not have X and Y buttons on that? Uh, or equivalent? There are X and Y buttons. Yeah, so I can, ju I can jump. Uh, yeah, so like, yeah, but when you're actually playing, you don't need the up button, because you can, yeah, you can... That makes sense. Okay. With that said, I think it's a good time for me to hop out because I have to get ready for for uh, making dinner. So uh, okay. I will catch you folks. I, I might I might be at Jackbox. So Chad, I'll see you then. If not, or if not, I'll see you tomorrow for Family Feud. Uh, enjoy enjoy the rest of the streams, everybody. Record what it. Else? Record it. We'll stream uh, it. Yo, I could record what I'm making. <laughs> 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 All right, I will catch everybody later. Goodbye. Bye, Bye Kevin. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'll go too. I said that I would stay for the one loop of mac and cheese, and then I was gonna go because I'm still pretty tired from like the gym yeah, and everything. No worries. Oh, gym? Yeah, I've been going to the gym for like the last three weeks or so. Like nice. I was exercising on my own, and then I decided, you know what? Let me join the gym because then I can do swimming, and <laughs> I like to swim laps. So, oh. uh, yeah. So I just joined back and I've, I primarily use it for swimming and then there's some like classes there that I just like to utilize. You too. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm glad that people like the mac and cheese that I made. <laughs> uh, gonna, Carol can testify that it was good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I'll talk. I'll see you guys at Jackbox though. <laughs> Bye, Sabrina. Bye. 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 Have fun. Bye. Uh, cheese it up. Oh God! Why <laughs> pokey your, floats? That's your saying. Of all the stages to get, why pokey floats? Because you love Pokemon. You, you picked a Pokemon. That's yeah, why. Stefan, you did a whole poke event. I know that, but I can't. I can't play it with a wheel. <laughs> How much uh, poke sleep have you done? I've done five nights. Five nights of sleep. Five, oh wow! Do, do, has Five it been nights helping? at smoothies. Five huh? <laughs> you know what? It has. It has, has it been helping? Like uh... I think it's just because I'm I'm a fucking idiot, but or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Like I feel I feel self conscious about enjoying Pokemon Sleep. Uh, chat. Has anyone else here used it or enjoyed it? I think it's fun going to before i go to bed feeding snorlax and then <laughs> putting him <laughs> next to me on my mattress and then uh and then i wake up in the morning and i feed him breakfast and it's just i don't know there are these there are these apps where like you can like have this little creature and you just like take care of it like it's a pet and i feel like it's a similar type thing but also like i, I feel motivated to go to bed on, on time I wake up on time. I'm like, oh boy, I get to feed Snorlax. <laughs> oh man, your life. You you are you and Snorlax are becoming one. Yeah, I feel like a dork, but I like it. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Like it's it's uh it, it gamifies sleep. Um I mean, because, you know, there's other apps uh, where it just says, hey, you slept, and you go, well, thanks, what do I do with this? And, you, and I don't know. Uh, I did a few nights of Pokemon Sleep, and, like, the bit where it says, this is how you slept, I look at that and go, well, I don't know if this is good or bad. <laughs> but, but, but then there's Snorlax. Oh, yeah, no, so, like, it doesn't do anything to help you sleep better. It just sort of incentivizes you to go to bed on time and wake up on time, which is something that a lot of us struggle with anyway, so, like... I somehow came in seconds still. Oh, wow. Oh, good job, Stefan. Let me, just... let me, let, let me do one more. Uh... Oh, God, Mute City. 
<laughs> that that's oh. the one that reminds me of Sonic because it's fast. And Sega made F Zero GX. I, I I always forget. Yeah, I always keep forgetting about that. But yeah, F they did. They they like the reason why Nintendo doesn't doesn't make F Zero games is because they didn't make the last F Zero game. Huh. We should uh do it again. Uh, what what other racing games do they make? Uh, definitely not any starring Mario. <sighs> There's well there there was there was a uh, like what was it, like fast racing Neo. That was basically wow. like not uh. Ah. Man, we're just missing Chris, and then we could just have an FTCR session. Hell yeah, I mean, we let's could. Go. We could do. Let's kill two birds with one stone. Let's talk about Prime. Record this and upload it to FTCR, <laughs> oh, so yeah, that we have our go. discussion ready to go. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. I still haven't seen. See, we, we, me and Chris haven't seen season two yet, so we need to get. Oh. On. Yeah, we need to get what? on that. Why haven't you seen it? I've been a little busy. I've been a little busy doing this. Uh, busy oh. to watch TV. Put Prime on in the corner so you can just. You know. <laughs> just like, just like this. I don't want a Family Guy Subway Surfers. I'm not that ADHD. I right, all right, but but if you haven't seen it, then I don't want to spoil it, because then you'll be spoiled. But at the same time, I could say, oh wait, is this bad? There you go. Is that a hot take? Are you allowed to say that Sonic Prime isn't the best show ever made in the history of television? Without spoiling anything, people have said like, oh, season two, quote unquote, season two is better than uh, season one, and I don't feel like that's true. I feel like it has yes! all the same problems. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Um, you wow! I did it! Yay! I don't know how I you did it, but I did it. Does, does that mean you beat the? the I beat the, the challenge. The, the... Yo! <laughs> wow! All right. Uh, Base <laughs> Stefan. Now do it on hard. I got yeah. I got another. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me let me go put in really fast the the PS2. Let me get that in. Oh wow! Plugging in the PS2, the PlayStation Second. Um, cause this, cause it is cool about this one is that it has the three things, so like it works for all three: uh, PS2, uh, GameCube, and Xbox. Oh, that is fancy. I just got a. Uh... You have an Xbox? Yeah, mine looks like that too. I uh. Did he say what he's putting in? Uh, the PS2, but he, I don't remember if he said the game. Oh, I don't think he did. Okay. Yes, we're just talking about the PlayStation Second. Um, <laughs> second? That's great. Yeah, it's PlayStation. <laughs> I love them. Uh, right. So the original one was called the the PSX. Um, and then the the second one is the PlayStation Second, and then it was the PlayStation Triple. Are you uh, making this up? Because I believe you. <laughs> um well because it sounds like a sony thing to do because like sure. they were they were always adamant about saying no it's cross it's not x right did they call the p oh, right because it was it was the, i think they eventually I mean, it was, switched back yeah right well uh right because the because the psx they made it the did they ever call it the ps cross I I only remember. Oh, no, I don't think PSX. they called it. I was just talking about the face button. Oh, just the face buttons. Yeah, they oh. were, they they. Yeah, every manual was like the cross button, and it's I'm, like I'm, hmm. pretty right, sure, right. I'm pretty sure they wanted to be the cross button, but they were like, "We'll let you call it. We'll let you call it the X button." Sigh. Okay. Right. Well, I I guess it was because there are all of them. It's we never call it the uh, O button. It's always the circle button, and uh, but we could start calling it the O button. It's a shame. It's a yeah. It, 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 it's 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 a shame that Kevin left because now we're gonna play some Ratchet. Oh. Okay. 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 Instead of X or Cross, we'll call that one the Kiss Kiss button. And yes. The and this, the, this is the hug button. The yes. Hug. <laughs> I am into this. <laughs> Kisses and hugs. Quick. <laughs> the only way to win is if you kiss. 
Kiss, kiss, um, fall in love. Oh, right. Like, you know, oh, yeah, in Metal Gear also, Solid? There's, like, the PS, gotta... there's the PSX in Japan, which is what they call the PS1. Right. Well, yeah, there was the, there was the PSX. I mean, I, I thought even in the U.S. the original PlayStation was just called the PSX. Like, and that eventually when they when they re-released it it was called the ps1 you know like ne was lowercase like oh look it's tiny and cute uh but then the the, the psx what you, the psx was ps right there was a ps1 and the, right there was also but then there was later an actual psx which confused the naming scheme people uh, are people have are you, they have opinions. They're talking, they're saying they're I'm talking wrong. in the chat. Are you wrong, yeah. David? I don't, I don't know, right? Because they're, they're saying here PSX is a Sony DVD player. Uh, like the play, the PS1... Right, the PS1 Slime. Yeah, Slim, yes, is PS1 <laughs> as in O-N-E. I do remember that. Because I thought there was a thing about how, like, the PS... Like something was called PSX and then it was stolen. Uh, stolen? On. What do you mean by stolen? Oh God. Okay, this is what it is. Okay, so the the PSX was the code name for the original PlayStation, and I guess when talking about the PlayStation at the time, like on the internet and thing, people continue to call it the uh, PSX. Probably because it looks cool. Just like how I keep calling the Switch the NX. Right. <laughs> well, I guess maybe because it's like, oh, PSX, PlayStation, if that's the acronym, and, the, and then they just call it the PlayStation, I guess if you're in the 90s on the internet, or, or you're a magazine, you're just going to keep on calling it the PSX because nobody told you differently. It's not like uh. when the Dreamcast was the Katana before or, or, or the GameCube was the Dolphin. Those are very different things. So, so I am wrong, but I am also right. Well, you're wrong, but forgiven because of how the internet talked about it forever. Yeah, yeah, so... <laughs> right, and then once you get the PS2, and then you, so like, oh, that's the numbering scheme. Yeah, but also, PSX is cooler. See, Fast Eight Wild said, I don't know why, but PSX feels better than just PS, and that's true. And I think that's why we all did it. Cool. <laughs> it's really giving me a workout, <laughs> just pushing this because it, yeah, it's very, it's very squeaky. All right, are you? Are all right. You, Stefan's playing a game. Yeah, hey, hey, if you're watching Stefan playing a game, if you're if you want to yell at us about the acronyms of the PlayStation series, like is the PS Vita, do you ever call it the PSV? Um I what you could do is of course tell us in a donation or you could just donate anyway. That's right because we're not just here to have fun. We're here to 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 help. Uh, we are raising money for Rise Above the Disorder, or as it's known, Rad, because Rad is cool. It's just like PSX is cool. Uh, Rad, <laughs> Rise Above the Disorder, it's, I can't talk. Rise Above the Disorder is, of course, uh, a, a... What? No, I'm, I'm mumbling I myself. can't do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am not Kevin. Uh, right. The best way to summarize Rad is simply we are a universal mental health care system. That's right. They want to help people regardless of health insurance or budget because everyone deserves mental health care. Uh, look at that. The, the, the money that they raised, they, they said, what, $10 is enough to cover a prescription? $30 is enough to cover a, a session of, uh, uh, you know, a one-on-one -on -one sort of the thing god more uh, more or less yeah more uh, or less like it's rough rough numbers it's to give a, a sense of like hey even if you can donate a little bit it's helping out people it's not like hey you know um yeah because a little can go a long way and and that's mm -hmm. what's important especially in this day and age when mental health is so important uh yeah and if you and if you donate hey you might be entered in one of those raffles that we're doing if you, you donate the the money amount for said raffle uh today's daily raffle for five dollars those are boxing gloves uh 
you know, if you want to punch people. Well, you, that's the. Have, no, no, I know it's for something. <laughs> it's you not know what just it's for violence. It, 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 well, it's it's for what's coming up next, right? It's all ties together. Oh, okay, you know. I, yes. Does he know? But it, he knows. Uh, he knows, right? Because Punch Out's coming out coming up after this, which of course you should stick around and watch, and then you'll really understand why there are boxing gloves on the sidebar of uh, this video. Yeah. What? You went ah. Uh, uh, oh, never mind. Uh, and then of course the event the raffle, video? twenty dollars. That is for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Look at that. It's so shiny. Uh, it's so Zelda. Ah. Uh? It's it's so lead. It's so, it's so lead, uh, right? It is the Nintendo Switch OLED OLED Zelda themed. You could win that. You'll be entered into the raffle if you donate twenty dollars or more. That's right. The could there's a link. It's been. <laughs> By the way, Stefan, you're doing yeah. pretty good. You, you... for it helps playing on yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, it helps that with this one, uh, since Ratchet works with the D-pad, I can actually move forward by holding forward on like the oh. in the middle. So I can actually move forward while I'm moving, and then pressing the the bottom, pressing the the uh, the, the pad to to jump. Ugh. Did you also just use the D-pad to control him? I uh, know I've been I, I've been use I, you, you technically could but I've been using the moving left and right uh, I've just only been moving it to go forward and backward okay like te technically like I could just move ratchet like with my hand just right here like like no problem but I want to like I do at least some kind of like actually using the are you able to control the camera at all no you can't oh, unless no the, the, only like to reset the, like the button that resets the camera like like a, a, yeah L2 Resets camera. You would, there's no right stick at all. You would need a second steering wheel, probably. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, man. I like that, though. I like Come that on. idea. Get Plugging him. in two. Get it. Oh, God. I'm going to die. I died. Stefan, we need to get you, like, a trucker set up. <laughs> I don't need <laughs> like, a truck. Like, uh, three 4K monitors surrounding you. Some people do insane trucker builds like they'll make like the entire cabin of a truck just so they can play their virtual reality truck games right. that that's a lot of effort to pretend you're in a truck you <laughs> could also but, just be in a truck well, yeah. what i imagine the vr setup costs less than a truck hopefully um yeah, and, and, and I guess, and I guess, like if you're just VRing, being in a truck, you don't have to worry about accidentally going off the road, hitting people, ah, damn it, uh, ha having to be responsible for for cargo. Uh, if you want to go to bed, you can just go to your own bed. I mean, well, truckers can go to bed. They go well, to yeah, pit, truckers can pit stop just... and they crawl in the back and they. Right, I know, I know they have like their little cots or whatever, but it is like, oh, if you want to shower, you're, you you got to go to a, a truck stop and enter a place where many other people have showered. Maybe they don't have your type of shampoo. Uh, Becca sometimes doesn't see me for days when I get into my trucker <laughs> VR. <laughs> <laughs> you love it. Oh, how, um, when did you first start truck VRing? When did I start trucking? Yeah, when did you start... Uh, when did you become a trucker? Um, you're kind of born a trucker, David, so... Um, how do you feel about Smokey and the Bandit being a trucker? Um, well, Smokey wasn't ah. a trucker, <laughs> but Bandit was. I mean, weren't they both? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I thought Smokey was the cop. Uh, no? Right, Smokey is the cop. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Smokey is I was, the cop. okay, I was right. Oh, no, you are right. I forgot. Well, because there's... There's the bandit, and but then there's the second guy with them. And for a second, I got confused and thought that they were both, like one was Smokey and the other was Bandit. But you're right, Smokey is the cop, of course. Um, what's it, Jackie Gleason? Uh, you're getting yeah. everything wrong today, David. Is it not Jackie Gleason? Oh God, I thought it was. <laughs> Smokey is 
Smokey and the Bandit. I know there's three of them. Leon in chat ah. says Smokey and the Bandit 3 had a weirdly large amount of <laughs> full frontal nudity. I, I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> Did you watch all three? I, don't, I, I have seen all three. I remember oh. three being really bad because Burt Reynolds is not in that movie. Uh, oh. He has a cameo at the very end, but he's not even really there. Somebody is having a hallucination and thinks he's there. Um, <laughs> okay. It it is it is um no I mean two is also not that great uh the the beginning of two wants to be like the first one and then the second half of two is like what if we did something completely different and you're like huh which is weird because the natural sequel to two should have been where one ends because uh, uh, do do you remember the plot of Smokey and the Bandit uh he's driving a truck and uh -huh. cop and he's got stuff in the truck that he's not supposed to have in there mm -hmm. that's right uh, and the cops are like no 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 <laughs> that is right they're going no 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 so so it is so the idea that's the plot it, right the right yeah the plot but the thing that they don't have is just coors you know you're, you're familiar with coors right mm -hmm. coors coors yeah you know it's beer and so it was technically bootlegging because you weren't allowed to transport it out of the state. <laughs> yes, I am going over Smokey and the Bandit lore. This is great. Uh, which which is wild to watch it now because you can go to any like corner gas station. I mean, if if liquor lies or you know uh, if liquor laws apply in your in your state, like you could just go to the gas station buy Coors. Who cares? It's weird. It's it's like it's it's just regular old beer but back in the day it was like oh no you couldn't you couldn't uh, transport it past you know a certain a certain point so it was like hey we're in atlanta we want some cores you have to do it but you also have to do it fast it's a, it's a it's a race movie <laughs> so so burt reynolds character he is he is the bandit that's when he he gets his friend um, who, uh, God, right, who's that guy who plays it? Jerry Reed. Jerry Reed was up for the role of Bandit. He was supposed to be Burt Reynolds before Burt Reynolds got the role. And that's why, like, in the third movie, he is the Bandit, and there's, like, this weird moment where he's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna be the Bandit, so it is sort of like a winking at the audience. Oh, he was supposed to be the original Bandit, but he wasn't. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> this is all exciting. Anyway, what happens at the end of the movie is that surprised they do it um but then the guy who said hey get me the cores said hey why don't you go up to boston and get me some clam chowder do it in a certain amount of time i'll double the money i was going to give you and they said sure roll credits so you're like oh yeah movie two is going to be about getting that clam chowder, clam chowder. <laughs> it wasn't it, it was about an elephant oh <laughs> I mean, what, 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 wasn't that one of those like things where like a story will end with like a seemingly like a sequel like uh, a sequel hook but it wasn't actually meant to be a sequel hook it's just a oh there will be more adventures with these people yeah kind of but like man it should have it should have it should have been that because the second one is not as fun uh, it's not as fun oh but you'll be excited to know I, I, now these I haven't watched. There were four made-for-TV movies uh, with the Bandit that do not star uh, Burt Reynolds or the other guy. Before you uh, go, go through that, Justin Munn asks, uh, "Oh, that's no, sorry. Um, oh, uh -huh. yeah, sorry. They they ask, uh, do you have Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Stefan? I do not, sadly. Oh, yeah. I, I've I've always I've always wanted Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, but." Uh... It's just, it's it's pretty it's pretty hard to find, uh, and also because I want those bongo I, I really want those bongos. I'd love to see I'd love to <laughs> test and see if like if I can play those bongos with other games too. Mm -hmm. uh, get them. Right. What were you about to tell us, David? Oh right, there there were these four there were these four um, made for TV movies. There they all have the name Bandit. So there is, I guess, no Smokey unless it's a different Smokey somewhere. Uh, I haven't seen them. I only I know they existed because 
they they sell a smoking the bandit set where it's like it's the seven film collection and you're like wait what are the other four aren't there three didn't it end very uh sourly um but yeah so i guess the four are prequel films in the sense that the bandit is younger than burt reynolds was meant to be in the first one but it it's a reboot because it takes place in the 90s which i feel like also kind of misses the point of what smoky and the bandit is meant to be smoky and the bandit was the number two film of the year it was released do you know what number one was what year was that well, if I say it, then you'll know. Oh. It's very obvious. Okay, the year is 1977. Yeah, I was going to guess Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. <seems> like... <laughs> it's Star Wars. Um, so people loved Space Adventure, and people loved what? Uh, Burt Reynolds. I, uh... <laughs> I mean, it's true, because <laughs> Burt Reynolds was, like, the most bankable movie star for a period of five years. Burt Reynolds' mania swept the country. People wanted to be be with him or be him. He guest starred on an episode of Golden Girls some years later. Man, what Steph- if the plot of Star Wars was just um, <laughs> getting a bunch of cores across the galaxy? Oh, man. Well, I think that's probably what the Han Solo film was meant to be, right? Right. That's right. It was about... Okay. <laughs> sort of. Um, he's like, oh, yeah, you're going to do the, the castle run. You're going to do drugs. Or not do drugs. You're going to transport drugs. They don't show anyone do drugs. Don't do drugs. Um, they do death six. They, they, they do... <laughs> That's right. And then Obi-Wan uh, changed that one kid's life by saying, don't do this, go home. And he's like, well, yeah, I should. And then he had a, a spin-off series. Lasted three seasons. Wow. Hi- is hyperdrive fuel what was happening in there? Yeah, like the Kessel... I guess the original version of the Kessel Run, I've only seen Solo once, and I don't remember what it was, but I know they go to the Spice Mines of Kessel, but I couldn't remember what it was they actually... Because they're like... He's like, oh, we're sort of the good guys, but I'm supposed to be a scoundrel as well. And I'm like, I don't remember. I remember the robot saying we're going to do a droid revolution. And then she dies and gets sucked into the Millennium Falcon. And, and then, uh, oh, God. Um, Han Solo. That's the whole sentence. Was, Han, <laughs> yeah. Han Solo was a drug smoke. You're playing Crash. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to play some Crash uh, before we finish it off, because we have about, like, just under 10 minutes, and then okay. we will be, and then we will do be, uh, what do you, we'll be, we'll be, um, get heading off so that uh, Trav and Salty can race some uh, Punch-Out! Whoa, Punch-Out, that's right. You know, you can share in on, on that Punch-Out fever uh, by entering our daily raffle. That's right. If you donate $5 uh, or more, you can be put into that daily raffle. You could win boxing gloves yourself. You can reenact everything that's about to happen on the next stream. You can punch your friends. Your friends can punch you. you can punch your enemies. Uh, isn't that, your isn't that the of- dream? Yeah. David, I've been waiting for the day we can just punch each other. <laughs> That's all we want. That's all we want. That's right. That's right. Uh, raising money. Uh, Rise above the disorder, aka rad, because they are rad. Uh, mental health uh, and mental health awareness. That is what they do. Uh, yes. They help you not punch your friends. They help you. Right. Um, they could uh, help. That they help people see um, to to find therapists, to speak to therapists, perhaps have a conversation that says, "Let's not don't punch everyone." It's actually it's about loving and understanding. Stefan, I keep thinking your wheel is like someone talking in the background, or like <laughs> is that Banjo's house? I got I didn't get a good look at that. What uh, is that Banjo's no, house? That, 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 that was Crash's house. Oh, they kind of somewhat similar. Yeah, it does look does look like Banjo's house. 
Where is it? Uh, the yeah, solo movie. Yeah, yeah, it does look like yeah. Banjo's house. A little bit. I mean, maybe they're in the same universe? Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. I mean, it has the same vibe, but it does not look the it same. Has that Hobbit, I, I, it has that Hobbit hole vibe. Uh, I, I had a quick glimpse of it, and I was like, what was that? Oh, no, it wasn't. Good for Cortex for embracing gender fluidity. Yeah. Uh, Good yeah. for Cortex. He's right. You know, he he's, he presents himself as a as a villain, but maybe he's just misunderstood. There's a lot of good qualities there. He has a oh, lot of good it. qualities to him. Mm. I consider myself a little bi curious, if you know what I mean. Oh, is there no game music? There should be. Is the audio? Oh. On? I mean, the audio. Maybe the audio is low. Is it too low? I put it up a bit, so. All right, you said there's no game music. Does that mean that there's game sounds? We said for the stream. Right. Well, so I'm I, guessing I mean, like, has it been too low yeah, this whole it's, time? It's probably been low. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably been there's low. There's no game. Audio. There's no game. Why? Did no they one tell us? This. Did they tell us earlier? I didn't see anyone say. Right. You've been interrupted and said, "Why are you talking about smoking the bandit? We can't hear the game." Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, okay, now, okay. Be, it, it, now was, it was just low. Okay, at least they have audio for the uh, the last five minutes. <laughs> okay. Was it brought up at the beginning? Wow. So all you've heard is is just the, the steering wheel. We've been enjoying the wheel clacking <laughs> sounds. It's easy. I'm hoping, oh, but easy. you know, the steering wheel was the only thing they heard. All right. Uh. <laughs> they haven't heard anything else. Which, which, I mean, I'm okay with that. They're um, just coincidentally talking about everything we talked about. Right. Well, you know, it's like great minds think alike, um, except when they don't. Uh, I remember uh, Dis Disney did, uh, you know, one of those PSAs where the genie, voiced by, by Dan, uh, my name is Homer Simpson, uh, said, oh, yeah, great minds think different. I, I guess he was telling people don't be afraid to think differently. I'm I'm, uh, unless I, I'm I'm pretty sure the PSAs were done by Robin Williams. Were they? I, I know for a well, fact I, that there were some PSA like genie PSAs that were done by Robin Williams because it was like it was a whole thing of like okay like it was a message that he like agreed as a message that he like agreed with so he's like okay I'll do it for this. Wow, there I'm I'm wrong again. I thought Robin Williams only came back for the third film. Hey, but you're realize. on an L streak for this stream. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I know for a fact he did come back for, like, PSAs and stuff. I don't know if it was specifically those, but I know for a fact he came back for that. This is what happens when I vaguely remember a PSA that I probably last saw when they actually aired on television. Um, I don't often go to YouTube and search um, Aladdin P PSA, but I guess... I'm going to now. Um, Ew, what are the what are the fruits that Crash eats in Crash games? Oh, they're they're called uh, cranberries. Ah, oh, oh, shit, is that wrong too? Mm, cranberry. <laughs> they're not apples. They're wampa fruits. They're, they're wampa. I knew that. I knew that they were wampa. Wait, what? Wampa? Uh, wampa. It's with a U. Right, because a wampa is from Star Wars. <laughs> the wampa is the the mon the, the big monster that that punches Luke Skywalker in a cave. And then a wampa fruit is what does a wampa fruit taste like? Have you ever had one? Uh, yes, they're okay. they're good. Wow. They're probably only in Australia. <laughs> uh, there he is. There's Crash. That's that's me. Somebody just said. Oh, OMG. Um, uh, 
they could probably uh, right. stop it off in a moment because we got like just under five minutes. Uh, is there any last minute uh, things uh, that Pete, anybody wants to say or do? Oh, right. did oh. we oh, get we another did get donation? The... We do, did. Do we? Uh, we we do have one now. Oh, I didn't notice it because I had the wrong tab open. Um, yes, it's uh, Mimi. Is it Mimi and Ann from Arcadia Fallen? I or is it Mime and Am? I mine. I. I'm not familiar with Arcadia Phone, I guess. Uh, oh. Hello, everyone. My name is, it's either Mime or, or Mime. Mimi? Oh, I feel so bad. And this is Anne. She's in a relationship with the Alchemist. We wanted to tell you about our indie game, Arcadia Fallen, a visual novel about the Alchemist and I. Wait, I am reading this wrong. Uh, a visual novel about the Alchemist and I deal with many problems. Okay in our LGBTQ plus positive adventure on all platforms. And then the question at the end is favorite indie game? Favorite indie game? Right. I don't know. Um... I guess the reason I haven't played it is because it must be somewhat new, right? Because it's like they're advertising. Yeah, it. I haven't heard of so it yet. That's why I'm like, oh God, I don't know. But it's because it's... Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I, lo I, lo I love I love uh, the one for some reason the thing that always thinks in my head when I think indie is V V V V V V like it's probably like that's probably not the best indie game but that's one of my personal favorites. It's like it's like oh like like, like Shovel Knight's great obviously uh, you got like the usual like the the, the usual uh, suspects. Yeah. Castle Crashers I really like that it's one of my first. Oh, right. Bring back the shaky about. cam from the Secret Rings LP. I don't think I have a Wiimote <laughs> with me. I'm going to uh, shake it with, with shake this. Okay, this this game came out November 17th, 2021. Okay. Arcadia uh, I Fallen. can show you here, because you, you were talking about the, the, the TV. Like, you were like, oh, like, put me in a TV set. Like, put me in, like, a set, like a trucker set. I'm just going to point my camera to show you how big the TV I'm working with is currently. Like, it's pretty massive. Oh man. Right, Harvey Player Joe said most of my favorite indie games became big name. Would Shantae count? Would would like Shantae my, count? Like my thing of stitches back here. <laughs> I just have like an army of stitches that just I that I, that just keeps increasing. There's just more and more of them. But yeah, I, th I think I think we're yeah, we're all. I mean, it's like six now. We're all good. Uh, any so any last minute things we want to say before I close off? Uh, I will say that uh, the most impressive indie game I ever played was Affordable Space Adventures, which you can no longer play unless you have a Wii U and downloaded it before <laughs> uh, that <laughs> went down. Uh, but it, it was the best use of the of both screens. It um. It, it was really, really impressive. Uh, but if I had to choose, like, which one I played the most, uh, Stardew Valley is the indie game I have played the most. All right. Wow. Okay. So the, the <laughs> looks like the last, last right. donation. All right. We'll close this off. And in just a moment, you've got Trav and Salty coming on to play Punch Out Wii racing each other. So thank you. Thank you for this filler time. And uh, enjoy. Uh, where's the button? Charity versus Room 2. New Age of Zeros.